This is not financial advice. I just hope a bunch of them miss baby because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, don't invest in companies you don't understand and don't believe in because if they dip, Ric Flair, baby, woo, you not going to buy the dip and then you're going to sell low and be right back here crying to me and I'm not having that. So if you can't do the heat of these hot stocks, then stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. ETFs too. Build that foundation out. Now, let's talk about it. What is one stock that has been beaten down? Down, but is clearly worth double its price now. Now it's charge point. Many of us already have charge point, and some of our averages are in the 17s, 18s. Some of it is even over 20. Now, what I want you to see is that this stock is now in the $12 range. However, fundamentally, when you look at all of the numbers, it's looking like it's worth way more than it currently is. It's just getting beat down because of many things going on with the government. But let's talk about it and let's get right into it. And remember, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell, but this is an update on a stock that I personally think is a banger long term. Now, it's charge point. The time that I took this screenshot, we had it at $12.80. It was down 2% on a day. It was down 1% in the after hours. When you look at it on the week, it was down 10% on a week. It's been getting crushed, right? But remember, we like to buy low and sell high. We also have it on the year is down 67%. So what do you have to see? You have to see when it's time for others to be a sheep, it's time for you to be a shark and say, okay, I see blood in the water. Is it time to let that back fin hit the top of the water? And bam, is it time to strike? Now, let's get to the facts and see what's going on with the play. But before we even do that, I want you to hit the Discord link. The Discord is in the description. Now, it's also pinned to the top comments. This way, when we do options, you can learn how to do options with us. You can join the options class. Each options class portion has three parts. We have the lesson, we have the quiz, and then we have the review. So you can get a full 3D way of learning how to do options. I'm talking all of them. So now let's keep it going. We just ran a Netflix put. This one made us over $500 in a few minutes, right? And this is when you make money on the way down. I want you to learn how to fish. We also ran an Apple call and we made over $1,000. And the call is when you... Buying a call, you try to run up and make money on the way up. We made a lot of money with that too. So join the Discord with us so you can learn how to fish. So now, for those of you who don't know ChargePoint, ChargePoint is basically an electric vehicle charging network provider. So now, notice that with many of the EV plays, the electric vehicle plays being hammered, you can imagine that the network plays are also being hammered. But notice, ChargePoint is one of the biggest dogs in that game, and then they are basically killing the game in terms of the business but the stock has come down but we call that a discount so now look at this they develop charging infrastructure so you remember we we're talking about the infrastructure bill with the government and how that isn't exactly rolling out how everyone expected it to this is one of the things that it's hindering the stock growth but remember this is called an opportunity now charge point was founded in 2007 just to give you some history on it but let's look at some of the key numbers but remember i'm not telling you to buy it right now i want you to at a minimum put it on your watch list so take a look at this charge point it says that they 52 week high is 44 dollars 24 cents their 52 week low 11 dollars and 22 cents so yeah why is it important and if i said the top one wrong $44.24 is the high, $11.22 is the low, and their market cap is now at about $4.28 billion, meaning if you added all of the shares up together, what would they currently be worth? They would currently be worth over $4 billion. So now, the reason this is important is because with ChargePoint hovering ever so close to its 52-week low, this is an opportunity to make money on the way down. If it breaks that mark, then it can tank even further. Now, if you have not added a position, to charge point by now i want you to keep this on your watch list or even if you do have a position so that you know when you start to see it reverse and turn back up to the upside you know that it's time to start dollar cost averaging in but you have to understand the company on a thorough level this is why i say don't invest in companies you don't believe in or don't understand so now let's gain some understanding of charge point and remember if it breaks this level right here this is where we buy our puts and again hit the options class so you can learn how to buy options and sell options right buy puts and make money on the way down like we did with netflix right here we like netflix as a stock but we know how to make money on the way down that's super important so now check this out if it holds above this level and starts to go upward, we know it's time to start dollar cost averaging in, meaning slowly but surely buying more and more of it and establishing our position or bring our average down from 20 all the way to 15 or even lower. Okay, now let's keep it going. I want to show you a term and this term is this, EBITDA or E-B-I-T-D-A. Now, what does this mean? 
This term, and let me read you the, the formal definition of it, right? It's earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. And it's used as an indicator of overall profitability of a business. So why am I bringing this up? Because we want this company to show that they're getting more and more profitable, right? So now let's look at some of their guidance and some of their projections. So this is what charge point when you look down here you see where does the data source is charge point this is what they are projecting for their growth and their earnings and now we all know revenue this is the money that you're bringing in right they said that their revenue in 2022 is expected to be over 346 million and then almost double for 2023 now that's crazy they're going to almost double the money they're bringing in from and remember they were founded in 2007 but from 2022 to 2023 they expect to double the money they bring in and then by 2024 they expect to almost 3x what they're going to do in 2022 and then they expect by 2025 to get all the way to 1.43 billion in dollars that they're bringing in they see a lot of growth in the ev sector and they expect to grow with it being one of the largest charging stations that or networks that exist in the world so now they said that their gross profit, right? This is the profit margins and everything like that. They said that they see it booming as well, right? Just straight up across the board, getting higher and higher and higher every year, but not just a little bit higher, like 124 million to 125 million. They say, you know what? Jumping over 100 million, jumping over 200 million, right? You see this growth. Now, when we look at the, basically the EBITDA, right? Or E-B-I-T-D-A, you say however you want. They say their profitability is expected to really, really, really ramp up, but they're being realistic where they say, you know what, 2022, we expect to hit it like this at 93 million. And then we see the fiscal year for 2023, they're going to be investing into themselves a lot. However, you know what, this is going to cut into some of that profit margin, but they expect to use it to just really invest, reinvest into the company and then ramp it up. So then take a look at this. By 2024, they expect to have this as their EBITDA. And then by 2025, they expect to have a ball totally rolling and then pumping out. Now, let's keep it going. I always tell you, if you want to be a big dog in the game, the millionaires, the trillionaires, the billionaires, everything, you have to think like one. So what are they doing with their money? So if you go to Fintel.io, you can see as early as 2022, January 24th, they have many, many, many different institutions who are loading up on this for the first time. When you see green, this is when they load it up and they've never had any. But when you see it highlighted in white here, this is when they've added to a position that they've already had. So when you look through it, you'll see that many of them are loading up for the very, very, very first time. So they're just finally starting to get in. And this is when they posted it, right? This is their 13F. But let's keep it going. Let's look at NASDAQ.com to get an overall broader image of what's going on with ChargePoint. So NASDAQ.com, another reliable source, they said increased positions and these are institutions who hold these positions now 188 institutions increased their position of charge point and decreased there was 84 84 of them that's it 84 institutions decreased their position versus 188 which increased their position now i do want you to pay attention though to the shares so the shares that were increased 24 million the shares that were greek decreased 31 million so there has been selling but you got to understand some of these institutions have paper hands and they're trying to make a quick buck believe it or not and this is why oftentimes a lot of them get a bad rap like hedge funds and so on and so forth for big banks but let's keep it going new and remember i'll keep it real with you whether it's good bad or ugly i'll give you the facts so you can be the judge check this out new positions 83 institutions opened up new positions for the first time and this is 5.9 million shares versus who sold positions they have 41 institutions and they sold positions so now they got 2.6 million shares that they just basically sold out and they let her go right but overall the majority is being held 39 institutions held 33 million of these shares but let's keep it going because i'm giving you all the way getting you into the facts so check this out vanguard is among those who increased their position vanguard is the second largest asset manager in the entire world behind blackrock so now they load it up so what's one of the things that's holding charge point back and you may or may not have heard about this but i said it and mentioned it in passing in the beginning of this video and it's the infrastructure bill let's take a look and we're not going to get political with it we're just going to talk about what's going on with the politics and how it pertains to our stocks and investments so it says president joe biden's massive infrastructure bill it proceeded through Congress, all these other things, but notice that it has not been on the move like we expected it and wanted it to.
But you know what? It is what it is. When politics get in the way, politics get in the way of the profits. So they proposed that there was going to be $7.5 in investing into electric vehicle charging infrastructure. Why is that important? Let's bring this all the way back to the top. Let's bring it all the way back to the top. What does they or what do? What does ChargePoint offer? Let's keep it simple. What do they, what do they offer? They offer charging infrastructure, right? So then they, and remember, they are a $4.2 billion company and they expected for the government to infuse over $7.5 billion into electric vehicle charging infrastructure. So if the government finally gets the ball rolling with this, then we can see ChargePoint really pump up and basically double from where it is now. So I want you to understand if your average is really high, then be on the lookout for those levels I was talking about, those 52 week lows, so we can know if we need to run puts or average down. Now, again, I want you to hit the Discord link in the top comment, it's pinned to the first comment, so you can join the Discord and be up on the plays and run options with us, right? Because if it tanks under that 52 week low, we know that it can buy, we can buy puts and everything like that. Hit the Discord link. I see you over there i love y'all but if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks and stay out of the kitchen consider investing in index funds let's win in a bear market or a bull market let's get it